Well, hey there, welcome back to Tourist Town. I'm Mike, and we are here in the woods, hauling some lumber to the lumber mill. You see, I'm sitting at about $54,000. And the reason I'm doing some lumber, let's take a look here. You can see I've cleaned out this area here on the map. We are down here. This is uh, at the edge of my property down here. I picked this spot because it's a little bit closer down to the lumber yard. So I've been busy. See, I have some pretty good stacks of wood over here I need to pick up and a little bit down here. I already got the trailer loaded up. So I'm going to head down to the lumber mill and get this lumber sold. While we're driving down, I want to talk about what's been going on so far. So the last episode, I did end up buying the new farm. Uh, after I did that, I moved some equipment over and uh, did go and remove some of the fencing. Uh, I also cut the uh, grass field that was up there beside the house. Uh, this field right here. This one here was in grass. So I ended up cutting it and then used the rake and the loading wagon and just picked up the grass and put it in the fermenting silo. It actually come out to be quite a bit of grass there, so that was great. And then, do I go straight here or do I turn? Uh, turn, yeah. Uh, after I did that, uh, the next thing I did is ended up buying a new tractor and a plow because the only plow I had was the one that was on the lever much too small for the amount of land I now have. Uh, the reason I got a plow is all of the fields, or all but one of the fields over at the new farm, needed to be plowed. I know they had the crops planted in them, but I just did not want to uh, take the hit on the plowing uh, factor there, so I ended up getting a plow and a new tractor. The way I was able to get that is I sold the combine. So now I have no combine and I have those fields plowed. And when I did that, let's stop here, I'll show you. We'll take a look here. All of these fields are now one big field. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it that way or if I'm going to come through and uh, divide it up. But I have one big field here, and then I also went ahead and plowed the grass field up here and made it a field. And then this field down here by the, uh, the home site here in the woods is now plowed up. So did a lot of plowing and got that done. I will take a look at the uh, tractor that I bought here in a little while. Show you that and the plow. So now the problem I had at that point is I was down around $14,000. Uh, I did get lime put out. I leased a lime spreader and I sold that little spreader I had because uh, I just knew it would not have the capacity I needed going forward. So I leased a lime spreader, got lime put out in all the fields, and then I was down pretty low on money. So I decided that I needed to do some logging to try and recoup my funds because now I'm going to need seed and fertilizer and uh, I'm going to need a combine so I don't have any money. And I also want to go ahead and get some cows like immediately because I have food to feed them with. So I want to get some cows. But before I do that, I wanted to get a trailer to help me make these loads much more efficient. So, ooh, there's a train. So what I'm going to do is we have this trailer here and it works great, but the trips down to the lumber yard here just, they're so far. And I can only get so many logs on here. So I've taken off several loads of logs. 
uh, get it around anywhere from 15 to 19,000 or so per load. So you can see how many loads I've ended up having to take here to get up to this amount. The reason I have done this so far is to is to buy a new trailer for logging and then a semi. I was going to get a grain truck, but I think I'm going to go with a semi. So let me send this guy back up to the home site. So we'll just uh, stand here and uh, make a couple purchases here. I found a truck that I'm interested in here. It's this Kenworth. So let me uh, get this thing set up here. I think I'm going to go with the Dutes Far. Let's go with a black frame. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to get the uh, bars on the front since we'll be in the in the wood. We'll just leave this as the base. I do want to get a hook on the back in case we want to pull a trailer. And I'm good with the rest of that. So let's go ahead and buy that $30,000. And then the next thing I want to get here is a bell tr uh, log trailer. So I think the 15 meter one will work. We don't need a trailer hitch factory. Let's see. I think I'll go with the wider tires there. So we're going to buy this. So that is going to help me make short work of getting this lumber picked up and taken down to the lumber mill. I did like this truck. It maneuvers really, really well. So I thought that would work out really well in the woods. Hopefully it'll be able to pull this trailer okay. I don't see why it shouldn't. So I'm going to uh, travel back up the mountain. Get set up at the uh, logging area. And we'll uh, take a load of logs off. And then we'll go over to the farm and check out what we have over there. So I've uh, come into a problem here. The truck doesn't have enough traction to get up the mountain. Let's see if I can get a running start here. I've got the uh, differentials locked in. Come on, you can do it. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're sliding backwards. We're sliding backwards. Well, this is a problem. This is a problem. All right, well, the problem, I don't think I can clear the snow off of these roads with a plow because I don't own these roads. So let me see what I can do. Come up with a solution. Well, I got a snow plow here. This will be the first time I've ever had to plow snow Normally it's not an issue, but it's a necessity, and I hope this works. Uh, I had to lease this thing. It was 16000 new, so I could not afford to buy it outright, so I had to uh, lease it. So let's see here. You know what? We'll start with this side. How do I... There we go, should rotate. So let's see what happens here. Does it work? It is working. Great. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this fella up here back to the house with auto drive and see if it won't continue on pushing it to that side and then I'll send them back down the other side and see what happens here.
Hopefully that'll work. Let's jump back down here in the semi. See if we can get out of this snow. I can get those front tires over enough. Uh oh, I'm wedged in. Uh-oh. I'm just going to have to do this the other way. Now let's try it. Yeah, that's right. It's getting enough traction now. It is still struggling just a bit, though. Come on, truck. Oh, this truck ain't going to work out. This is not good. This is not good. This is not going to work out. It's almost like the snow is still there. Something isn't right here. momentum. Okay, got the uh, helper running back down the road there with the plow. So we will try and get a, a load on this trailer and see if this truck is going to pull it. If not, I'm going to have to do something else. So let me get these logs set up here. And let's get this loading here. Now, I've made so many trips with the other trailer that I am just ready to get some of this lumbering done and hopefully get into more farming here. We'll hop in this so I can push these logs over to the unloading area. Or the loading area. in here. Make sure I turn it off. Put the straps on here and then we'll just ease up this way. That sure makes it easier, I tell you. Might be just a little bit too far away there. 
See if we can ease up to this other pile. There we go. I don't know if I'm full yet. Let me get the loader here. I don't want to pull off over into the snow. Oh. Not until I've been able to bring the snowplow back down this way. I get it pushed out and cleaned out so that I can pull over a little bit. We'll push these off a little bit closer. Okay, it should be able to pick it up there. I think it's full. Looks like it's full. Just make sure here. Oh, nope, we can get a few more on. Okay, I guess, it, I guess it's full now. Alright, let's see if this truck will... Whoa, that trailer is sliding. If we can make the journey back here to the lumber mill. The truck seems to be pulling the trailer okay. I'm not sure what was going on with that first hill. Hopefully it was just the snow being pushed away. I've got to be careful. I can't run off into the snow. I'll never get this thing out. Uh oh. Come on. You can make it up. The oh, goodness. Don't get stuck on this hill. Is it going to make it? Is it going to make it? Is it going to make it? It is not. Oh, it's trying. It's trying. Oh, go, 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 go. Come on. Oh, it's going to do it. Look at that. Come on. Definitely need to come along and move this snow away from this travel path here. It's just a little bit too close for comfort here. We'll get this one load down to the uh, lumber mill and see what it'll bring. Be interesting to see how much this trailer load brings in comparison to the trailer loads I was bringing up with the pickup truck. Quite a bit more lumber on this. Oh my goodness, there's a tree. There is, and there's still a tree there. This is not good. Oh goodness. I'm not going to fight with that. It's not going to fight with it. We're almost down here to the uh, lumber mill, sawmill. What's going on with the train here? Where's my tractor? Oh no! Did he get hit by the train? Oh no, it's down at the lumber mill. Oh, good. Whew. I thought the uh, train had creamed my tractor there, but 
I forgot I sent it to the sawmill. There is not a whole lot of room to turn things around here. That's for sure. Get this out of the way here. Just park it there. And let's hop in the truck. See if I can swing tight enough to get all of this lumber in the zone here. That should be good. Grand total is... $50,000. Well, that's easy. All right. So let me uh, just move that back right there. We're going to stop right there. And just to let you know what's going on over here at the other farm, we'll hop over to the cow pen here. And let's uh, just take a look here at the, at the field here. So you see I have plowed this entire field up into one field, put the lime out. So this is a, a giant field now. And we have the new tractor over here. There's the standard John Deere plow. But check this guy out. Went with the lizard tractor. Actually, it's pretty nice. I like it. Crank it up here, let you listen to it. It's got the big cam engine. This tractor here, I did go with the chipped version, has 320 horsepower. Not a bad, not a bad tractor. I like it. It has worked out really well doing the plowing. So that's what's going on here in Georgetown. I am going to work on getting that road cleared out with snow. And then we'll get this uh, logging operation rolling along. See if I can't make enough money to get a combine. Because I'm going to have to go with a bigger combine. That one I had is a little bit it's on the small side for the size fields I have now. So I need to upgrade my combine, and we may end up upgrading a cedar or a planter, because that one I have is only six meters. So let me get that going. Get some lumber brought down here to the lumber mill. Make a little bit of money. And next time we're together, probably will probably will be spring. We'll see about doing a little bit of planting. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you here back next time in Georgetown.